Family, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been sent a box of goodies from a subscriber, uh, the Tack Collector. I'll leave his links in the description below to, I think he's got YouTube and Instagram. He got in contact with me, wanted to send a few bits in for me to look at. I don't usually look at other people's stuff. Uh, it's fine when you buy your own stuff and you break your own stuff, but I don't want to break anyone else's. But I said we'll take a look. I know there's a few things in there like a Nintendo 3DS and some controllers I think with stick drift and fixing. Um, but I'm not sure what else. So let's get this box open and see what we've got in there and see how many of them we can fix. Whether it's one episode or a few, we'll see. Uh, run the intro. Yeah, covered me a dress to protect the innocent. Um, there was one thing. I mean, it has got a bit of a gaping hole. Yeah, so hopefully nothing's escaped in the post. Blimey, what do we have in here? Yeah, got another Woody. Did one of them for JP. Oh, this one's a clock. Don't know, not seen that one before. Don't know what's wrong with any of this stuff in here. Yeah, uh, got a 360 controller. Uh, I'm not sure whether I've got the analog sticks to repair 360s. Let's we'll have a look. Um, he has sent GameCube. Now oh, we've got an Xbox One controller. I think that one's got stick drift, so fix that one. Another 360 I'm not too sure about. Uh, PS3 controller. Um, I think that GameCube controller is okay, but he sent in the GameCube because I think port one wasn't working. So we'll inspect that and have a look. I think he said some toys like this have got rusty uh, battery terminals. Uh, so we'll take a look. He said he's cleaned them up, but still not working. So you've got a Nintendo DS. I think that's one of the original ones. I think they're worth decent money. I sold one of them before. So there's that, not sure what's wrong with it. And the 3DS. I think he said a ribbon cable's gone on this. Um, I don't usually touch the Nintendo DS's because they're an absolute pain in the ass. But as it's a 3DS, it's worth good money. It's got a bit of a crack along there. Bit of a crack on the hinge, but the hinge is still good. Feels all right. Yeah, we'll probably take a look at that one. Probably leave them till last because I hate taking apart Nintendo DS's. And the Nooglies. I have no idea of the value of that or whether it's any good or whether it's actually worth repairing, but we'll take a look at it. Right, where do we start? Let's get this box off my desk. We'll choose one. Maybe we we'll just look at the GameCube, see why the port's not working. Or should I leave that till last, because people might want to see that. Let's have a look at some simple things first. Rusty battery terminals. Right, let's do it. Right, it's good everything lined up and straightish. Right, first up. Buzz Lightyear. Where the batteries go? I don't think he would have left any in. Mm, I've got a feeling the batteries might be down in this bit. This screw has been totally rounded over. Let's see if I've got a replacement for it. Mm. It's pretty rusty down in there. Uh, these ends don't look too bad. Yeah, the tops of some of those springs down in there are pretty rusted. It'd be hard to show you. See that top right one's rusted. One on the left in the middle is rusted. Yeah, the top right one's the worst. It's even got a bit of milky stuff down the bottom. 
Yeah, that's pretty bad. Not sure if I can take the. Uh, I can take the bottom off to get to it. Shall I undo all these? Is it going to make it easier to get to? Or well, first? First, shall we put some batteries in it? That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? a new screw for that. Oh, let's put it on try me. We got anything there? No, nothing on that. Nothing on the clock display at all. Let's put it on to play. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's undo these screws, see if we can get access to those battery terminals. They're going to be impossible to try and sandpaper and clean down in there. Probably going to cut a load of taking this apart, cut it out and edit in. Just so hopefully I can get around more, more of the repairs in one video. The cable's going up his legs. Oh, or is it just that? There we go. Is that pulling out from there? Uh, not quite what I wanted to do, but... I want to get into here. Slides out there, that slides out there. Oh god, this is going to be fun to put back together, isn't it? Ah, right, now that pulls out. Now we can get somewhere. Right, remember how those go in, because they're going to just fall out in a minute. Right, let's try and get this battery box out now. Oh, for some reason they've just decided to wrap that yellow wire around there. Oh, and this will come apart. And we're in. That wasn't too bad, was it? Just a lot of... A lot of pieces of mess now. All right, zoom in so you can see on here you've got battery leakage all over there and there. You can see, I mean, that springs shorter than it should be, should be out there. So, not pretty. All right, before these wires come up and come off, I'm going to take note of where they go. So, a yellow and white one's going to that resistor into that battery, which connection that's corroded and what we got a black on the edge and a brown there that's supposedly orange yeah it's all corroded as well all right let's see if we can mark these up so that is um the resistor just go right on there resistor um white and yellow We'll take this one, we'll call that red, black, yeah, okay, red. So we know where they're going back to. We've got the radio to watch back if it all goes wrong. This one is going to need changing because it's just not long enough, half the spring's broken off. You see how that one's out there, that one's all the way in there. But we'll try and pop these out and uh, Stick them in some white vinegar and clean them up.
most of these terminals are easy to change. You can buy like these terminals online from probably like China and places like that, and you should be able to get them on Amazon. China will be the cheapest place to get them on AliExpress. One out. Do you solder that resistor and do the same again. Just need to get some of that solder off, otherwise it's not going to go back through the hole. See how badly corroded that one is. So we can replace that one. I've got these little single ones. These two aren't too bad. These two could probably just get away with a little sandpaper, a little cleanup on the end. See and see how the black wire's just fallen off there. That's what happens with these tiny little wires. Always worth marking them up. So we can just get a bit of sandpaper on this one, clean it up. I'll get some IPN, I'll put some white vinegar on this as well, just to, just to clean it up and neutralize the rust. I think this is very fine um, sandpaper. It's only like a sort of 300 grit, I think this one is. Does it sound this bit I've got now? There you go, that's looking better. Yeah, I've got myself a little pot and some white distilled vinegar. It used to be white, it's a bit yellowy now. Probably need to change it because I've used this several times. Uh, that's the old one we're going to change anyway, but we'll put that in there, see if it fizzes up. No, it does not. I think the vinegar's a bit naked. Probably need to get some more. I've used this a few times now. Like I said, it's not bubbling like crazy, but there are a few bubbles. So we'll just leave that to the side for a bit because it stinks. Right, here I have like a pack of battery contacts, battery terminals. They are quite weak these ones though. They're not very solid and springy. So that's one we're going to be replacing in there, but we need to just clean it out. So you clean it out with anything. Get some IPA now, just get some get some sift cleaner or whatever. And a toothbrush. Just try and get some of that out. Give it a little scratch because it does get welded on the old rust. <clears throat> I've got a, some IPA in this squirty bottle, isopropyl alcohol, 99.9%. Spray a bit of that in there. Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get that, I think. That's not, that's not critical, having it clean. It got rid of most of it. So hopefully our new one will fit. They don't usually. They're usually slightly too big. I think we're in luck with this one. That little pin sticking out too far. Just need to bend that back a bit. Let's 
There you go, that's the new one in there. You just simply bend that over. And because we've sprayed the IPA, our ink has come off the back. But we know that was the one with the uh, resistor on, because that's where the sellotape was. So that's that one replaced in there anyway. Nice and simple. Uh, just going to quickly clean some of the crud off of here as well. Some of the battery acid. Oh, that, one, that one cleaned up quite nicely. Uh, for these terminals in here, I'm just going to dip a cotton bud in that white vinegar I've got, white vinegar, and just dab it on the ends of these. Just try and neutralise some of that rust and acid, whatever is on it, or alkaline. I'll just leave that sitting on there for a bit as well. Right, I think these have been in there long enough now. Just get them out. Obviously that one is pretty, that is pretty done for that one. That's the one we've changed anyway. There you can see on that one, like all the coating is coming off and yeah, it's pretty manky. But it's looking a little bit cleaner. So vinegar's doing its job. And the other side, it's not too bad. We'll give that a quick brush up. That's actually looking pretty good. Uh, I'll just clean it with some IPA, get the vinegar off of it. Back's nice and clean anyway. That's clean, probably doesn't even need any more sandpaper. That's looking pretty good. Definitely going to be making contact now. So that one can be pushed back into place. That one's back on, all good. Same again with these ones now. Just give them a little clean up. Spray with IPA, try and get that vinegar off. They look all right, except the middle one that's a little bit tarnished. See most of it's shiny. You can still see a bit of black down in the bottom part of there. So let's try a bit of sandpaper. There we go, that one's looking much better now. All right, so they should all be making contact again. Quick squirts, quick wipe out. All right, let's start putting this battery pack back together. Let's see if we get any uh, life back into Buzz Lightyear. Just gotta remember, it all goes back together. Get the soldering iron back on and uh, get these wires soldered back to it. All right, let's get a bit of solder on our terminal first. Blob of solder always makes life easier. Attach the resistor back onto here. Let's flip it over because our black wire had come off, didn't it? So tiny this wire in here. It's just snap in. It's just snapping every time I try and uh, Pull it off because it's such a thin wire. There you go, it's a little bit longer than I want, so we'll just cut that off. Let's 
get some fresh solder on there as well because that's a bit rubbish. Doesn't help when it's got hot glue on there as well. Right, I can need to get this hot glue off of here. That's looking better. I wonder if this wires is looking a bit uh, corroded as well. Solder's not wanting to stick to it. Because corrosion can travel up the wire. And if you've got corroded wire, the solder won't stick to it. It's just not sticking to it. Solder's going around that, and it's not sticking. I think corrosion's travelled up this wire a bit. It's got a bit of flux on there. I don't think that's even going to help. The solder on our tip. Solder does not want to stick to this wire. So we might have to get a new wire on here. Let's go back a bit further. It's looking a little bit shinier there. Tip, get another fresh bit of solder on. Yeah, solder sticking to that now. Hopefully it's not too short though. There we go, that's much better. But this now has to go in that way round, doesn't it? And I now don't think I've got enough wire. So just got a bit of an extra length wire here. This one's a little bit thicker, but that's all I have. See, so that's probably like twice the size of what that is. But it'll do. It's got a load of shrink wrap tube in there, all different sizes. So let's see what we can fit over. Probably the small black one. Oh no. Yeah, that'll fit over there nicely. Right, so we're not going to need all that. So we'll just cut a little bit off. Put it over that side for now. Well, I didn't really need to put it on there because I can slide it over the top, can I? Right, let's just tin up this, uh, tin these wires up now. Just make it a little bit easier to join. Need to try and get them quite flat, otherwise you're not going to get your heat shrink tubing back over. That is going to be a nice snug fit.
and I'll just warm that up, shrink it down. trying to balance this thing All right, get that soldered onto our terminal beautiful and yeah, we have this yellow wire wrapped around the top of it so we put that back slide that black into place so we've got enough black wire there now all right before we put all this back together we could probably put our batteries in now just to test it all right it's looking okay and we still have nothing by the sounds of it look at it no nothing oh no now we do it's just not down enough Hopefully you can see that display is on there when I push it down properly there we go oh wheels are spinning all right I think we've got it I think we've got it let's try and put all this back together I forgot to screw the battery box back down. Right, I want to see if I've got a screw that I can use to replace that that is totally threaded. And a couple that might do the trick, although the heads are a bit bigger. So that's the original one on the right. That one's the right length. I think that one's a bit too long. So I'm going to have to go with that one, but the head. Head's a fraction bigger. We'll see if it goes in. Zoom out for the big reveal. Our clock's on, there's a good start. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. <laughs> oh, motors are going. I am trained for dangerous space adventure and ready for action. Light. Lights in his neck, oh, he's off again. Wait, 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 yeah. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Alright, oh, Buzz, stop. Buzz Lightyear calling all space rangers. Oh, I've got it on Try Me. Let's put it on that one. Buzz Lightyear calling all space rangers. I don't think his laser's working on his arm. That's annoying. Oh, this it is. Uh, 
I don't know how you change the time. What have we got a time set on here? Ah, oh, that's alarm set. Ah, oh, time set. Oh, there you go. No idea what time it is. Oh, past one. Yes, yeah, that's alright. That all seems to work. What's the alarm set for? Alarm set. Alarm set. So let's go. Ah, too far. Can I do one thirty one quickly? Alarm on time. All right, we're on one thirty. If you can see that, one thirty one alarm should go off. That'll wake you up. Uh, right, so as far as I can see, that is working as it should. Don't know if the uh, don't know if the wings come out or anything. I'm not quite sure what it does. Apart from roll around, move around. That's not a button. Maybe they pop out when you do something. I don't know. Uh, but that's a quick fix there. Well, I say quick fix. Um, I'm going to edit this video now and see how long I can shorten it down to because I want to try and get through a few of these other bits and bobs. Um, but this might just be a video on its own. And if it is, here comes the outro. So there we go, that's Buzz fixed. Um, I think this is quite a rare one. The rare one. I think it's called Ultra Buzz Lightyear. Um, it's like radio alarm clock. There is one listed on eBay for like 60 quid at the moment. I can't really see any solds. There's a box one in um, America for, was it $264 or something? But it is missing a remote control. You've got an infrared on the front of there. So I think it's missing a remote and probably a couple of other bits. If you look them up on eBay, you'll probably um, see them. Needs a good clean up. It's in a little bit rough condition. But still, there's the first one fixed for the TAC collector. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one when we fix more of the TAC collector stuff.